Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Make sure you are subscribing. Today I have a very great video for you guys and that is white concrete. Alright, so here's my acrylic polymer which is concrete binding. It is an adhesive for concrete. My titanium dioxide which is what I'm making to make it white today and the molds that I'm using and I've had a mold video if you want to check that out. Now here's my container of titanium dioxide. This is from buddyroads.com and I also heard you can get it from glowmarble.com but the thing is Glow Marble was out of stock of one of these colors, remember which one, and I wanted both so therefore I went with Buddy Rose since it was in stock. And I put the titanium dioxide first, I was just putting the cement first into titanium dioxide and then putting your liquid whether you use water or acrylic polymer and I know a lot of people have been waiting on to see what the acrylic polymer was like so that's why I do them in videos from now on versus using water as you can see the white transition was very fast I don't even know if you were able to see I think you blinked too quickly but as you can see it has a very very white pigment uh plaster of Paris who and where I will not be using that anymore that's I know that um, the titanium dioxide works amazing and it gives it a great texture it doesn't give it that cementy texture look or that cement look and also it gives it that white color that aesthetic I was looking for in all of my projects and vessels so this right here is what I call the jessmanite alternative because it gives that white color that we've all been looking for we've been looking for either white or black and I've made a video for both you guys on both topics right there and this is how it has been created and I'm really excited about this one because I feel like it this is this is it right here so if you don't have just my uh, just when I available in your country here it is cemental white titanium dioxide and water or acrylic polymer whichever and here, I'm gonna go ahead and pour it in my normal molds. Make sure I get these air bubbles out because the first time I'm using these little seashell molds. I'm really excited about these two more than anything. <laughs> and make sure you are tapping, tapping, tapping. And this one, I like this mold because you can actually squish it where the air bubbles are and then take out the air bubbles. And I'm making a hot mess here. So, I mean, it does get messy. But I mean, it's getting messier than usual because these are molds. These molds are new to me, so I guess that makes sense. All right, and then of course I got my little moon, my crescent moon mold. We're supposed to like a crescent moon. I don't know how this mold shape is looking. And as you can see, as I'm pouring the mixture, I feel like I didn't mix it well enough, or I did. I should have put the dioxide after the cement because now the mixture is all splotchy and cloudy, and there's a lot of chunks there and that chunks are full of titanium di dioxide so we could have probably had an even wider vessel so this is the color i've been trying to achieve and i've achieved it finally with the titanium dioxide and here's my chicken tray remember i was trying to remake that cowhide here it is right here and i am really excited about how these are gonna turn out now do also remember I, the Sika, the acrylic polymer, has a slower drying time than water. So therefore, it's not like a four hour curing time. It's more like, let's let's wait about eight hours. Maybe you can leave it there and demold the next day. So I wouldn't demold after four hours. I would wait either the next day or eight hours because the curing time, and it does, does increase your work time. So you're not rushing this mixture into the mold so that helps a lot too that's what I really like about the acrylic polymer and as you can see the texture is very different and I'm really liking these molds so always check the links for these molds because I think these molds are really great and I'm going to go ahead and demold the next day I missed an air bubble but since on the bottom not something I'm too worried about and I'm telling you I love it looks so good and it's so smooth I'm telling you like this mold it just makes everything so smooth now I don't know what happened in this portion but I ended up breaking uh, I'll probably end up piecing it back together maybe but 
I really, really enjoy these molds because they're so smooth. I'm not sure why that broke though, because the first one didn't. But next time, just make sure you mix really, really well, especially since the bonding acrylic has an increased time that you can work on it. So I don't know why I rushed them into the mold, like it was gonna dry that quickly. And here's a seashell one, the little, um, or conch shell, whichever shell this is. That one turned out really smooth and nice. I'm not really sure how I feel about this cloud mold. It looks very basic and I don't know what, I, what you could really use with it besides it being a little mini trinket tray. Um, so, and we're gonna go to our moon. I'm kind of nervous I'm gonna break this one too. I'm always nervous I'm gonna break them. Even though they shouldn't break, especially after that one broke and I'm just like, but make sure you mix it really, really well. Make sure all your titanium dioxide mixes in with your concrete or you're just gonna have chunks. Cause when, I, when it broke, I saw the chunks of titanium dioxide. So concrete mixture did not get into that portion. That's what that's telling me. And I'm going ahead and take off the bottoms myself. And you can always sand the bottoms as well. And here is my trinket tray. Yay, they're all white. And they haven't fully cured, so you don't really fully see the white, because you'll see some of the cement still pull through there. But here's the little white collection. Oh my gosh, I love it. And there's some of them are so smooth, and you don't see, it doesn't look like concrete. It looks like jasmine. So subscribe for more videos just like this one.